Hi, John Valvano here, and in this video, I want to show you how you might use a FIFO queue, okay, to solve a data acquisition system. And so let's begin with a simple data acquisition system that had a 10 hertz sampling, okay. I had a 10 hertz sampling, and in the, um, in, the, in the cystic interrupt, I used my mailbox, okay, which was to set the data variable here equal to the, the newest sample. So I'll take a new sample. This is data acquisition, real-time data acquisition, and I set a flag because it, um, it was good design not to do my liquid crystal display output in uh, the background. Okay, so in the foreground, in my main program, uh, what I had was the usual initialization. Okay, so that was my initialization. I'll draw this in flowchart form now. And what it would do is pull the semaphore, right? It would pull the flag. And if the flag were not set, it's going to wait for the flag. And again, this is the foreground loop here the main program. And if the flag is set, uh, what my program, what my simple program did with the mailbox was to clear the flag and um, convert uh, the data, right? I would take the data and I would convert it, right? I'm, this is the data being passed from the background to the foreground into some value here and then I would output it to my liquid crystal display. Um, right, that's where that was my process and then I would repeat it, okay? Now all is fine. Uh, let me add a, a complicating factor. What if I didn't have hardware averaging and wanted to do software averaging? So what I wanted to implement was the average of 100 data points, okay? So I want to take uh, an average of 100 data points, okay? So I'm going to average them, okay, to get uh, a value that I'm going to then convert and display, okay? For signal-to-noise ratios, whatever, and I don't have hardware averaging, what I'm going to do is software averaging. Okay, so all is fine. Sure, I'll just increase this to 1,000 hertz, okay? And so now I have only a millisecond. And then I'm going to add a counter, okay, n equals zero. And so, and a sum, right up here, I'll set sum equal to zero, okay? And then what I'm going to do is, um, every time I get a piece of data now, okay, what I'm going to do is do sum equals sum plus data. I'm going to average it up, okay? I'm going to increment my uh, my point, my counter, and now if n is equal to 100, okay, then I'm going to calculate the average, right? Then I'll calculate the average here as sum over 100, right? All, all is well. Okay, so that goes up here. And if n is not equal to 100, I'll go over there. And if n is equal to 100, I set n back equal to zero again. All right, All right, you with me? Now, um, yeah, this should work, uh, but it doesn't. Here's what happens. Um, if you remember that this function here takes six milliseconds to execute. Okay, now all is fine. I'm only executing six milliseconds, you know, out of 100 milliseconds of time. Right? That's not, you know, I, I've got 100 milliseconds between my output rate, and I'm only using up six. Uh, but what happens is, uh, while it's doing this outfix, I'm going to get six interrupts over here. And uh, those six interrupts are going to store that data six times over into this uh, data variable and store the flag six times over to the equal to one. And so I'm going to lose five pieces of data, okay? And that may or may not cause you problem, but it causes me problem. And the solution is a FIFO queue, okay? So rather than store it in, what I'm going to do is a thousand times a second, I'll collect my data, okay? Uh, this is now a local variable, okay? and I'll put it into the queue. 
Okay, so as long as my queue is bigger than six, uh, this queue will store up the data, will, will save the data during that six milliseconds when I can't read it. Now over here, what I'm going to do instead of this, all I'm going to do is do a get FIFO. All right, and if my get FIFO is empty, then I'm going to do it again. If my get FIFO has data, then I'm going to average it up. And so I can use this FIFO uh, producer consumer problem where this is do producing the data. And this uh, main program is consuming the data. This is a classic example of using queues. You know, it was exactly like going to the grocery store. If the clerk is busy, you'll get in line. And as long as the average rate over here, okay, the average rate of processing this data is is faster than the production. Okay, so I'm producing uh, data at a rate slower than I'm I'm consuming it, which is fine. Uh, but I have a peak during that six millisecond window. During this six millisecond window, I'm accumulating five extra pieces of data, which would have been lost if I were using a mailbox. And so this is the classic case where we would use a FIFO queue uh, to maintain or to establish or to not lose any of that data. Uh, okay, so you're going to see FIFO queues a lot in your career, and I just bring this to your attention uh, here and now uh, in EE319K.